What is up, sneaker fans? Thanks for tuning in, and happy October. Today I'll be going over a tutorial on how to waterproof your shoes. So let's get right into it, starting with what you'll need. First, a pair of shoes you want to waterproof. Waterproofing spray, and a place outside to do the work. That last bullet point is required. You absolutely cannot do this inside, and I highly recommend you do not do it. Now, after you've gotten everything you need, you want to do an assessment of your shoe. Some materials can get ruined by the spray, so check the label on your can and my comments in the description for more information. After you've completed your assessment, you're going to need a waterproofing spray. Today I'll be using Soft Sole Waterproofer. Any brand will work, but if you don't have waterproofing spray, check the description for places to buy it. Step 1. Remove the laces. This is a small but very important step because it'll allow us to get optimal coverage on the tongue and around the eyelids. After we've completed that, we can move on to step two, which is testing a small area of the shoe. This is to see if there's any adverse effects from the spray, whether that be a change in the texture of the material or a color change. Give it about 30 minutes to dry and check to see if there's any changes that you don't like. Right around here, I noticed that there was no problems and I moved on to step three, which is spraying the shoe with a uniform layer of the product. I like to work on one shoe at a time. While I spray, I make sure to stay about six inches away from the shoe and never stop moving the can. The shoe can get wet and what's under it can get wet, but you don't want the shoe dripping with the product. Also, try your very best to not touch these wet areas before they've dried. Doing so may adversely affect the results of your waterproofing spray. If you need to manipulate your shoe or move it around, use the inside of the shoe. Another good tip to make sure you get a uniform coat is to work in panels. If you've ever washed a car, it's easiest to work in panels so you don't miss any spots. Just like here, start laterally, then move to the back, then medially, etc. After you've completely treated both shoes, allow them to dry for 30 minutes before applying a second coat. I would recommend at least three coats for optimal performance. And that leads us to step four, which is allowing them to dry for at least an hour, but overnight is ideal. And that leads us to the optional step five, which is to test out your brand new waterproof shoes. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, how to waterproof your shoes. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you want to support what I'm doing. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like these on sneaker care, as well as unboxing and reviews. Wear what you like, not just the hype. This has been a more than hype tutorial.